What? What did you do? It worked way better. Help! I need a push. I think the I think the transmission just broke. Transmission <laughs> broke. Oh. oh, we're just getting it, aren't we? All right, so we are out here in Kansas. So we wanted to drive Weston Champlin's Zeta BMW, super cool car, but he told us that he locked the transmission up. After a little bit of investigating, we realized that it is not the transmission, it is in fact the rear differential. Playing mechanic on the Zeta. The go-kart. Think that Jack can handle it? I hope so. Oh, we don't go backwards right well. Chain fell off. I'm waiting for this chain drive. It is. And the chain just keeps mm -hmm. binding up. And it fell off the one sprocket, and then it runs around and then bounces up again. I'm wondering if that's what it is. So do you think the chain's I think the chain's wrapped around and catching it's the... It fell off one of the... Oh, no way! Going up, running up. Hey, puppy! Look at this. We have a friend. If this falls, you're gonna have to lift it off of me. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Dude, you gotta pull the axle. Let's flip that case. Let's do it. We're gonna get this thing inside and figure out how to fix it. That looks too hard. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Still bowed in. Well, this is one way to move your car inside a shop in a sea of Hellcats being a Zeta. I'm gonna jack it up and we're putting jack stands underneath it. The lift probably won't lift this anyways, it's too heavy. This is way too heavy for the lift, so we're gonna use jack stands and a jack. Hey, these are four ton. I don't think that's big enough. Let's get a battery charger and find the battery. I've seen it under the you seat. Pull it backwards, like an impact. So the battery's dead. We're gonna throw the charger on and then start getting the rear end pulled out. We'll let this do its thing. Now we're gonna figure out how to. I keep looking down. And look at the camera. We're gonna figure out how to get this rear end out. Okay, so first things first. We're gonna take the tires off. This is the cutest little thing you've ever worked on. Here we go. We're gonna take this off, take that hub off. That, that's the shifter. Is that tighten the chain? That, that might tighten the chain. Tighten it the might, chain. but the chain's off. Yeah. What are you guys doing on oh, here? Oh, I can see that spinning over here. So we've got one more yeah, bolt on the rag joint. Got my leaf bolt out, shock bolts out. Just about everything out. We're just about there to drop this rear end out of this Isetta. Lift up on your side. Oh, shim. Okay, ready? Just like that. Cutest little rear end. Well, we might be figuring out what's wrong. So that's doing that, and this is locked up. So what we need to do is we need to oh. get... Oh! Oh yeah, it came apart. Good thing he knows how to aluminum well. All right, what we need to do is get this hub off, we'll get that bearing off, and we'll crack the case open. Let's bolt the tire to that so we can set it up. Yep. So we're not really sure what we're up against, but we know that something's broke. It's a posi track, that's cool. So this is just like a backing plate. So we'll take it over, start getting this off. We'll take a picture of this. And we're gonna get this at least taken apart and figure out what's going on with it. Oh, slides out these. Oh, good. Okay, that was simple. So we're hoping Whatever's wrong inside of here, we can fix. Because I couldn't find a smaller screwdriver. This is the first rear axle chain case majigger we've <laughs> ever taken apart. This is my first time working on a BM, uh, one of these BMWs. BMW? Sweet. Okay, moment of truth. There we go, it's moving. All right, let's see what this looks like. Broken. Oh, it's a double roller timing chain. My well, truck supply would have a double link, roller link. And there's no oil. I'll bet if we go get double chain and put two chains on it. Totally put that back together. Oh, there's the link that came off. All right, so we've got the broken chain. We're gonna go to a local tractor supply and try to get one. Um, worst comes to worse, we will fabricate something to make it work because we have Weston's guys with us. Make it belt driven. <laughs> yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll make it belt driven by morning. Let's go. Over here, y'all. Hillbilly's on a mission and he's gonna. So last night on the plane, Hillbilly is so loud. And that would be long enough to do two, also. We might have to do doubled up 
we're gonna get some half links and some full links and some semi links and some linky dinks. So that's it. Where's your chain? Six foot tall. All right, so ten feet of chain will work. Yeah, yeah. Five foot's like You're right, right here. You're right. You're right. You really got me. Master links, some half links, and we are going to make this and work. Chain breaker. So we're, yeah, we're gonna get a chain breaker. You want this one can't even. All right, things are working out tonight. Let's go make this a set of work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two separate chains, and if not, we might try to fix this by pushing the pin out. Put some half links in or something. Put your thumbs on? Or the one after it? Yeah, right there. Because I never had one of these. I always just used a punch and a hammer. Mm -hmm. So I'm just checking the width of the chain. I'm going to go here. It's exactly wow. inch and an eighth. This is inch and three sixteenths. So we're about a sixteenth of an inch wider. We're going to go see if it'll fit on the sprocket. we got to check this to see if our two chains are gonna work. We could just do one chain. I mean, it's a normal chain. Yeah. Motorcycles run off one chain. All right, so just like I was suspecting, the two chains are gonna be a little bit too wide. So we're gonna put one chain in it to get this thing to work. And then they can order a double link, use that old chain, or order a double number 40 chain and make it work. But for tonight, we're gonna clean this out, we're gonna put a single chain on it, and we're gonna make this a set of Run and drive. So I got it propped up so I can just spray it in there and it will run out. We have everything out of there, all the, any of the old shavings or anything that might mess up the bearings or cause future issues. All right, so we're gonna get our chain installed now. Should we just go on the inside? Inside or outside? But... It don't matter, they're gonna be putting a double chain on it anyways. This is a tensioner right here. It twists and tensions it. So we're gonna get our chain link in and then we'll tension it up. So how do you set the tension where you want it and have it stay in place? It pressurizes. But we won't be able to see how tight it is. It will when we put it together. Hey, twist it. Right there. That's pretty good. This is gonna be like a motorcycle now. Until they can get the double chain. Lightweight. Right. Yeah, lightweight, yeah. More Light horsepower. Yeah. We're gonna be driving this bad boy down the road by midnight. <laughs> It's gonna take you that long, it's only seven. All right, so we've got the chain where we want it. We're gonna right stuff it, put the outer, and then we think that this is a press fit, but it also has a bracket that goes on the outside that I think. It's supposed to bolt or hook something to hold it. Yep. Where, how, no idea. But I think the friction, I think friction locking is gonna work. Tap, tappy, you gonna tap, tap, tap a room. All right, so what we're fighting right now is we're trying to get this adjuster seated in the bottom case and the top case, and it's just fighting us. I think we've got it figured out. All right, you wouldn't believe it if we told you, but we got it to seat. So we're gonna get all the bolts in it, get it tight. We've got our chain tensioned properly. We're gonna be driving this to the steakhouse. <laughs> it's gonna be so pumped. All right, so we just found out that the local steakhouse closes at nine and it's 8.30. So we're gonna take off, go eat. We're gonna take you guys with us and come back and get the Aesthetic finished by midnight. Then we're going for a joy ride. Yeah. Ooh. I'm excited for this. Yes. And we're gonna gasket maker that. That's where the chain came apart. Made a little cracky poo. I got my leaf installed. Hillbilly's getting his. We'll get them tight. And then we gotta do the brakes, don't we? Yeah. The brakes, the shocks. So Robbie. Yeah. You said we could ride. <laughs> what are the odds of that? So we've got the axle oh, in. Yeah, and I'm gonna put my There it goes. My wheel in. Hillbilly's gonna start bleeding the brakes. Okay, pump it up like three times. It's already locked up tight. Okay, push and hold again. Pump. Hold. Last piece to the puzzle. And that's done. Pick it up, remove the jack stands, and let it down. It's fixed, we think. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We forgot gear oil. Oh. Put the jack stands back in. Luckily. 
He's very, very strong. So we're getting it back on jack stands. We're going to get some gear oil put in it and, it and then hopefully cruise it. Yeah. Adding the most important part. <laughs> she good. All right. We don't know the starting process. Settle up, partner. Hey, don't waste any time. All right, here goes nothing. We're figuring out how to, we're figuring out the process to start oh, it. pink wire. We're gonna push the clutch in. Yeah, it's barely making these sparks. That battery's dead. I feel like this is a little go-kart. We're gonna see if this will work. I hear straight air too. It goes right above it. I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. Wade's got it figured out. We need some gas. Is this a two stroke motor? Sounded pretty four stroke to me. Yeah. Just put that racing fuel in there. She might like it. Weston would do it, wouldn't he? There we go. Now, yeah, 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 yeah. We're pulling that, bud. All right. We're going to try this out. That's forward. That's forward. That's forward. Have it have reverse? Trying to find reverse. Found it. Oh, hey. All right, so Weston bought this down in Florida. He broke it in Florida. It's almost midnight. We're going to take it for a test drive in Kansas. No! No! What do we do? Lose fuel? Ah, woo! Don't die on me, don't die on me, come on. Uh, what in the heck? Okay, I got the headlight. Let's get us cranked back up. What in the heck? Are we losing fuel? Try pushing in a different direction. In the middle. In the middle, is that where we had where it was when we first got it? No, it was all the way to the driver's side. So we're gonna get this. Don't worry. Come on, Betsy. What is going on with this? <laughs> we're so close. Yet. Five feet at a time. We're so close yet we're so far away. Come on, baby. What is going on with this? It's gotta be a fuel issue. Oh, that's all the way over. I tried halfway at first, it does the same thing. Really? Mm -hmm. Let's go so, back to driver's side. We yeah. made it the furthest on the driver's side. Hey, well, we made it out of Weston's driveway. So that's lucky, right? Five feet, but hey. five feet at a time. Five feet is five feet, right? Okay, let's get it. Choke it, choke it, choke it, choke it! Trying. Come on, Betsy. I think the carburetor's gummed up. So do we need to go fix that too? We're in third and we're going. We're in third gear. Now we're down. Hey, it hurt that gum. This has like no suspension. This is awesome. Woohoo! We're making it. Look, we're doing it. We got it going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Third and fourth are right next to each other. <laughs> Whew, we're making it. We're doing great. <laughs> so. I think he left me. And I don't remember how to get back to where Weston's shop's at or whatever it is. I see him. Thank you for the ride. Yeah. Got a lot partner. Hey, did you call for an Uber? Yeah, but I was expecting something a little bit bigger than that. Well, I'm sorry, sir. You get off the buggy. I can prove this. We're going 31 miles an hour, baby. 31 miles an hour. 32. 32. Woo! Learn how to drive it. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. So we got it to run and drive. And it yes. runs and drives good. Good job, team. So Three Weston. Oh, yeah. So Weston hasn't seen it. He's been gone all night. He went to a concert. And we're going to surprise him in the morning and let him know that we got it fixed because this broke down on him in Florida. And he had to buy a trailer from Tractor Supply. And he put the car on it, brought it back to Kansas, and it's been sitting for about a month. So while we were out here, we figured we'd just fix it for him. Oh, yeah. We'll talk to him in the morning, see if we can't go for a ride with him. So it is tomorrow. All right, so it is the next day and Weston's not here yet, but we went and got us a new starter solenoid and a new ignition. So we're gonna bring the Aceta in, we're gonna get these done and we're gonna take him for a ride so he can enjoy this car again. And I watched his video last night and they were push starting it. So this is gonna make it to where you don't have to push start it. Fingers crossed. So we're gonna, me and Hillbilly are gonna get it pushed inside the shop. All right, so we're just getting the ignition, well, the coil switched. See if when I turn the ignition, that sends power. Here, help me turn that key. It does. So we're, the ignition's sending power. But it's not cranking it? <clears throat> so this is the way, this is the configuration that it was when we took the old one out. So I think I figured out the problem. I didn't have the screw in, so the ignition coil didn't have ground. So check it now. Boom! Bada bing. Okay, we figured it out. We gotta get some new terminals that fit and then we'll get this configured and get it in such a way that it's gonna work. Last night, it wouldn't start and idle worth a darn. And once we was able to get the start and run, Robbie had to keep his foot into the throttle, just keep it running. Just going through the car, making sure the jets are cleaned out, making sure everything's cleaned out on it. So that way it will actually idle good for him. So that way he doesn't have to keep his foot into the throttle to keep it running. He can actually start it and it's it stay running the whole time. Yeah. Hello. Hello. You west in the shop, kitty. What not say? <laughs> Alright, we're just about done with the solenoid. We're gonna test it before we throw the seat back in it. Oh! Don't do that. Alright, so I've got the ignition all swapped out. Hillbilly is just about done with the choke and all the other fun stuff he's working on. And we're gonna have this Isetta totally rebuilt. Not really. How are you coming along? I was getting the nut bolts back on, with the carburetor bolts back on, then I just gotta hook up the fuel line and tighten these nuts up and then we're done. All right, we're checking the ignition. It in fact works. So we got the electrical stuff finished. Let's see if it'll start. He was saying it takes like 40 minutes for it to warm up. So not really, but a long time. This wasn't idle and last night. I'm gonna call that a win. Yeah. That was idle's good. Yeah. And it starts. Go for a cruise. Hey, do you need a ride? Need a ride? Heck yeah! Saddle up, partner. You have to go to driving school to learn how to drive this bad boy. All right, the moment of truth. Think it'll start? <laughs> Barely. Battery's almost dead. Hey, we got like one more start in her. We'll see if it'll start for Weston. All right, so Weston's back. So while you were gone at a concert, we decided to get your Azetta to work. You made it work? Yeah. Like how good work? Well, you'll have to see. You know, the thing is, this is just like, it's just like home. You just miss it when you're not yeah. supposed to. I may or may not have been driving it and the top blew back. Well, you know, that is a problem with it. It's got so much dang horsepower. All right, let's see here. Look, we'll start. You gotta run it, that's for sure. Yeah. I'll be honest, I don't remember where the gears are. The return is all the way over It's my car and I forgot. It runs pretty good. I don't run way, so what did you do to it? It runs way better. We cleaned the carburetor and we fixed the ignition system. It sounds way less like gear noisy. That doesn't have that chain slap anymore. 
There you go. You need four hands to drive this <laughs> thing. It's so quick and fun to drive. Oh yeah. Third gear kind of like pops out every once in a while. We don't worry about that though. Yeah, no, you drive. Do you notice how it turns way sharper right than it goes left? Yeah, like doesn't want to turn left. It doesn't want to turn left, but it wants to turn right. So it'd be perfect if you drive it backwards on a NASCAR course. Yeah, that's what you need is this for. It's a reverse NASCAR. Exactly. They do things different in Germany. Oh, let me check on the engine real quick. Yeah, she's doing good. Yeah, she's right there. She's good. Yeah. After it warms all the way up, it chokes way better. Oh yeah. It's definitely a ripper. Oh, definitely. <laughs> fastest machine I've ever driven, yeah. that's for sure. Absolutely. Oh, hey, by the way, if you guys need it, there's a free mattress right here. Looks like home sweet home. Yeah, well, I mean, we can probably survive, you know? <laughs> oh, choke, choke. Can you believe somebody drove this thing? 23,000 miles or whatever? I, that's insane. We drove it like a half a mile and it was like, okay, yeah, we're over it. That's really fun, but yeah, we aren't going anywhere fast. Now that it runs, my girlfriend's wanted to go for a ride this thing for like the last two months. I've never taken it for a ride because it's been broken. There you go. There there we go. Go. Don't drop me off. Take it for Hey, that's how you get brownie points. That's right. But, hey, sweetie, look what I did for you. Yeah. That's how you go for a ride. Yeah, well, well she was the one that found it. She was like, oh, how cute it is that I bought it. I'm like, I'm going to drive across the state. <laughs> oh, feel the speed. The thing that's actually surprising about it is for a 1959 anything, it's in really good shape. It's in very good shape. I can't believe that it runs as good as it does. I mean, the steering's a little bit like, it is a little sketchy, but you Going know, down the road with no headlights at night, that's fun. Oh yeah, oh, I forgot yeah. it has no lights. We had the Hercules light up here. It runs so much better. All right, go. Yeah. So, oh. We fixed it so she can go for her first ride. Hop in. Look at that. So we didn't even know it, but Weston's girlfriend actually found that on Marketplace for him. They went to Florida and got it. Oh look, she didn't get a ride in it. So he's taking her for her first ride. He's wanted to go for a ride for two months and it's been broken. So job well done, Hillbilly. I think Weston's gonna be pretty happy with it. <laughs> <My God. laughs> Freaking cute. I think it's so sick. Thank God you guys fixed it. It's yeah. a lot more roomy in here than I thought it was. Oh, it's sweet. I've got all the cookie points. She's going to be going home baking cookies now. I know it. I already have cookies. What's yours? What? Where are they? They're in my purse. She carries cookies in her purse. Come on, Claude. Get in here. Come on. Come on. It's oh, good boy. Afraid. Here, get it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you glad? Look at that. Perfect. He immediately went back there like he's going to lay down. Dang, oh, God. <laughs> He's like, I went and crawled in this dead skunk or can you guys smell it? It smells so good. <laughs> yeah, you smell like dead skunk. Why do you smell like dead skunk? There you go. Now that you've taken the Azetta for a cruise in your home state, what do you think? Oh, it drives even better in Kansas than it did in Florida. To be fair, the throttle was kind of stuck when I, so like you see me in the end of the video and I'm reaching up, turning the key on and off because I can't get the throttle to come back from full throttle. Oh, that makes sense. And that's when I, there's some there's some candy in there. All right, well, we yeah. see the thing fire up and drive away. We know Clyde did it. Yeah. No, it actually, it runs way better. It drives way better too, because also before the noise inside of it was so loud, Probably I thought it was just change. a drivetrain. Thanks for letting us fix it without knowing. That's fine, you're, <laughs> you're fine. I'm just glad I can drive it around now. Yeah. Now all we need is headlights, taillights. That's just all the toggle switch. And a turbo. What? And a turbo. Wait, what you a toggle yeah. switch. You wouldn't put a turbo on a toggle switch? I think a turbo charger right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, just like, like right like on the a side. little turbo like right here with a little exhaust pipe that sticks up and goes. <laughs> Imagine when it torques up and takes off the whole Zettel. <laughs> <laughs> <three wheels. Yeah. laughs> you know? So the time has came. Came out, hung out with Weston. Got to check out the Azetta. Azetta? Azetta? I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, we were able to get that going for him. So as always, we appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed this video go check out this one Wee! Ah, let's go get pizza <laughs> you actually want one you have one hey where'd you find that one there's another one that's complete not running it's it's sitting in a barn it hasn't been touched nobody's done anything with it i bought this one instead all right there might be an asceta in the future